Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply linear regression algorithm on the given data set to find the expenditure given the salary of an employee. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, four instances where the salary and expenditure of an employee is given. Given this particular data, we want to apply the linear regression so that we can find the expenditure given the salary of the new employee. For example, in this case, the salary of a new employee is given as 3 lakhs. Given this particular salary, we want to know or we want to predict this particular expenditure here. Now, if you want to know this part, I think we need to get the linear regression equation for the given data set. Once you get the linear regression equation, we can put this particular salary into that equation so that we will get the value of this particular expenditure. So, because of this, we can say that uh, y is the dependent variable here and x is the independent variable. That is, expenditure is the dependent variable and salary is the independent variable in this case. Now, how this linear regression equation looks like? The linear regression equation looks something like this y is equal to a0 plus a1x where y is a dependent variable and x is an independent variable. A0 is the intercept and a1 is a coefficient of independent variable in this case. Now, we need to know the formula to calculate this particular a0 and a1 because we know the value of this particular x that is equal to 3, but we don't know the value of this a0 and a1. Now, how to calculate the value of this particular a0 and a1? We can calculate the a0 and a1 using these equations. a1 is always equal to the mean of uh, x multiplied by y minus mean of x multiplied by mean of y divided by square mean of square of x square minus square of uh, mean of x here. That is first we need to calculate the mean of x and then we need to calculate the square of that particular value. Similarly, we can calculate a0 using this equation that is mean of y minus a1 which is already calculated here multiplied by mean of x in this case. So, uh, to get this particular a0 and a1, we need to know the value of these particular means. So, first we calculate these part of things with the help of a simple table here. The table looks something like this. Here, uh, x and y is given to us. Uh, so, we will put those particular values in this particular table that is salary and expenditure. And then we need to calculate uh, the two things that is uh, x i square that is uh, x square and one more thing is x and y because uh, we need to know those particular values at the later stage. So, first we will calculate uh, the x square that is 5 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 25, 1 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 1 and so on. Similarly, x i into y i we will calculate that is 5 into 25 which is equal to 125, 1 into 5 is equal to 5 and so on. So, once you calculate all these values, we need to take the summation of these particular terms that is the summation of x, summation of y, summation of xi square, summation of xi, yi, yj. Once you calculate the summation, we will calculate the average or you can say that the mean in this case. That is x bar is always equal to this particular 9 divided by 4 which is equal to 2.25. Similarly, the mean of y which is equal to 45 divided by 4, uh, mean of x square is equal to 31 divided by 4, mean of xy is equal to 152 divided by 4 which is equal to 38. Once you calculate this particular uh, matrix, we will put these particular values into this particular equation that is a1. Uh, if you put these particular values in this particular equation, uh, you will get uh, a1 is equal to 4.72. And uh, once you put these particular values in a0 equation, you will get the value of this uh, a0 is equal to 0.62 in this case. Now, once you get this particular a0 and a1, the linear regression equation looks uh, something like this. Uh, y is equal to a0 value is equal to 0 0.62 that is what I have put into this equation plus a1, a1 is equal to 4.72 that is what I put in this particular equation x is the value of uh, uh, independent variable over here. Now this is how the linear regression equation for the given data set looks like. Now once you know this particular linear regression equation we can easily predict the value of uh, the expenditure or you can say that the dependent variable given the independent variable. Now, we have been given the value of this independent variable that is salary is equal to 3 lakhs. Given this thing, we can easily predict the value of expenditure in this case. So, now I will put the value of x is equal to 3 here and once I do the calculation, the y is equal to 14.78 in this case. So, if the salary of that employee is equal to 3 lakhs, his expenditure will be 14.78 thousands in this case. So, this is a simple procedure we need to apply 
so that uh, we will get the value of uh, dependent variable in terms of the value of independent variable using linear regression algorithm. I hope the concept of uh, linear regression algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.